Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another fun of Fancy VFX user video. This is going to be an interesting time. I don't usually get the news out this fast. This, I think this is a world record, right? So, we got Gilgamesh here who is by himself, obviously. And his banner is nothing special, to be honest. But to be honest with you guys, it's not too special here. Um, pretty standard banner. Um, 25, I mean, at this, I mean, come on guys. 25 STMR tickets. I know that SR Moogles are not the most free to play thing in the whole world, but I mean, a lot of you guys probably are sitting on a lot of tickets by now, and they're starting to lose value a little bit. If, like, not in a bad way, it was just like if you miss a few SMR tickets, you're not crying anymore. Not say you were, but I mean, like, figuratively crying about missing a few SMR tickets. Like, back in the day, like two years ago, or maybe even three to four years ago, you're like, I need all these SMR tickets. And now we're like, Okay, I guess I missed a few. I have a whole bunch of S tier Moogles and tickets back behind me, you know, stuff like that, even as a free to free to play player. Because when I was playing on the CN version, I had tons of S tier Moogles, you know, st stocked up and ready to go as a free to play player. So I kind of know how that goes. He's not getting any buffs. It would have been nice to get a small buff for him because one, one, like, it would have been nice to get like a mod buff for him or something, but I guess it is what it is. He works, for, he works really well with Dios, of course. That's why he's, you know, here. And his banner is slightly tempting, but not really. So currently, there's a big flaw with his TMR. Uh, eventually, it'll be a little bit better because, you know, Trudua gets buffed. But currently, it's only a one-handed sword. That has, you know, 500 fly attack on it for him. But right now, it's really not that great of a, a TMR. The S TMR, however, is extremely good because... It gives 100% main eater or human killer, which is extremely good. Uh, I use this all the time on the GP version, so it's very good. Uh, in terms of the unit himself, he's basically 160% dark breaker on an SLB, basically. That's, that's how good he is, I guess. And if you like that, that's good for you. And if you're not looking for that because you want to use Golbest still, then that's fine too. And so. Here is a normal raid event, and nah, that, that, that katana's not good. <laughs> sometimes there's, you know, good stuff, and then sometimes there's not so good stuff, and this is one of the times that is unfortunately not so good. We also have Kelgar here, who's pretty good, actually. These free units typically are worth grinding for, because typically they are at least into the point where they're actually pretty useful in a way if I if you know what that means like they're on the cusp of being like a really strong unit but they're not good enough to where you know it, it kind of breaks the boundaries of a pullable unit versus a free unit you know what I mean so he's pretty he's pretty decent he's pretty decent for for whatever he may be he's pretty decent and you can get him up for free and here is Lena's um crowns and so going forward the Silver Crown events, they can't be skipped because they're part of the event, guys, so don't be afraid. If certain characters that you're looking forward to in the future, if, oh, I don't know if they're getting crowns or not, they have to get crowns because they're part of the event. Sephiroth, Tifa, um, Lena, as you see here. And Lena is actually pretty significant. I wonder if it's, it's not the next slide, but we'll be talking about Lena very soon. Iron Giant, I guess uh, he's finally coming in it. You guys know on my channel by now, I've, I've showcased this boss like a million times by now. He's not hard. He's very tanky, but he's not hard. You know how you want to beat him? Number one, step one, get someone who can spam Mirage two, t t two times Mirage every single turn, and that's all they're going to do. Step two, bring one person that's going to use Nethosite every now and then. I used it every turn just, you know, just so I don't have to worry about it. But just bring someone who can do Nethosite. There you go. Now you won't take any damage from the boss whatsoever. Literally no damage. It's so easy. Now all you have to do is bring someone who can do 160% in peril and also perhaps a field. Because he does have a strong elemental resistance against all elements. And so the equipment is not too bad. I might make, an, I might make another video. Probably tomorrow. I'll probably just make another video where I just sh show you guys how to beat him in general with like lower like lower tier units perhaps and just show you how to beat them like really quickly you know so yep i think i think i'm like the master of this trial because i've beaten him so many times and this vision card is 
not the worst. As you can see here, you get 100% human killer and 100% LB damage. The card's attack is not very good, but this would be good on someone who's like a side DPS and stuff like that. You know, it's not too bad. Usually I would like, oh, this is terrible. It's not terrible because it's not re restricted to Final Fantasy V units. It's only restricted to Breaker units. And typically they need a little bit more help with the Lumpur's damage and things than other units. There's a live stream coming on the 12th. So there's going to be a reveal of some kind on the 12th. So make sure you stay tuned for that. In my, in my opinion, I think that they're going to finally re reveal like a global original leader. In my opinion. Because we're literally like a week or two weeks from Dios if they don't do anything else. I'm um, looking at it right now. The next banner after Gilgamesh on the JP version was mid. And she's actually not mid, by the way, even though her name is mid. Um, I'm really glad that she's really good. I was waiting, for, I was, I've was. i been waiting a long time for mid to come out. And so she's actually very, very powerful for a Dragoon. And then the next week on the JP version is Dios. So I'm assuming I'm still going to assume that they're going to make a global original leader first to tempt you. Um, but I think Dios is just really good because he covers dark units. And dark units are typically meta units in this game. So anyways, here is Lena. And she's actually quite good. She gets a lot. As you can see there, 1,500 flat magic. And her LB gets changed. Now, on global, her LB did get changed already. Um... So it's going to be a little interesting to see what's going to be like on Global, but uh, relatively it's still very good because her LB, her base LB is very very valuable now when it gets upgraded. Her Brave Shift form, not really that great, unfortunately. I don't I hate to be negative about Lena because she's actually quite a good unit on Reign's team. She was actually required in the Dark Vision Abyss on the Reign's team. If you wanted to use the Fire team, you needed her. And you needed her crown. 100%. So make sure you guys are doing this crown event. She's actually pretty good. If I were to rate her crowns, I would go based on just her base form because her brave shift form is really not that amazing. So just on her base form alone, I would go like an 8.5. Just easy, easy as pie, 8.5 because it's actually quite good. So look forward to that. And if you're a new player, uh, if you're going to pull for Gilgamesh, I'm not going to tell you yet if you should pull for him or not, but the fragments are here, so you can get those if you'd like. And the login system is very barren. We've already got a few login systems as of currently, so you can't really expect too much, right? This is kind of just the side login. There's already main logins currently going ongoing, so it is what it is on that. Anyways, it feels like it feels like the, the later I stay up, the, like, the more crazy I become. I'm, I'm becoming like less negative and more positive about literally everything. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Uh, yep. And uh, if you're going to skip, that's okay. If you're not going to skip and pull for Gilgamesh, I understand completely because he would work really well with Dios. But stay tuned for our review on Thursday. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.